Hi guys and good morning. Today I'm in the Lexus RC 300H and most of you guys who follow me might know that I reviewed the RC 200D and well it was a pretty positive review because I really like the car. I mean it's my kind of car. It's comfortable, yet sporty and it's not gonna ruin your wallet or you're not gonna have to pay taxes that big on, uh, on a car that you can enjoy every day basically. So today I'm in the RC Hybrid and well let's say it's the more um, mature choice <laughs> let's say because this is basically like, like a diesel let's say. It's gonna be very economical, especially in town, when you drive mostly electric and very low revs, so you don't consume any gas. And uh, it's still got a punch, you know, it's got about 220 horsepower combined, which is, let's see, what, what was that? In the RC it was 240, I think. So yeah, it's about 20 horsepower less, but um, you actually feel the difference. It's way slower. Yeah. From 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is gonna be around 9 seconds, this one. And from what I saw in real life, uh, this seems like a fair number. But um, the 200T is gonna be way faster. I mean, way, way faster. About 2 seconds faster than the hybrid. So I've, I, I took this car because I really wanted to compare it with the um, 200T and maybe later on with the RCF but uh, it wasn't available in, in Belgium anymore for, uh, for press so I'm gonna take it, I took the GSF and you're gonna see a review pretty soon soonish, let's say uh, but it's basically the same engine uh, just the car is a bit heavier than the, the RC and honestly it was a blast I love that car, I love the engine I, I loved everything about that car as for this hybrid well it's you know, it's a gentleman's car. If you just want something comfortable to cruise around and, and do everything a daily would do, you know, go shopping or whatever, this fits the profile, in my opinion. Just one thing, uh, maybe the trunk isn't as spacious as in the um, 200T, but other than that, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's the same car. It's very good materials, as always, from Lexus, from what I could, uh, I could see with the cars I tested. It's very well insulated, it's very comfortable. <sighs> Music is great, I love the Mark Levinson uh, sound system. I think it's, it fits the car and you, you get, if you wanna get loud, you're gonna get loud. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's just an overall great car, I think. Oh, the back seats. Uh, last time I reviewed the RC, I said they were basically horrible, and they're not. They're not that big, that's for sure. But if you drive with uh, regular people, let's say, because last time I was driving with with people above 180 centimeters, which is let's say above average. But if you drive with average people, you're gonna be able to fit three to four people, and not in the most comfortable way but uh, it's not gonna be that painful either. I mean, I was driving the car and behind me uh, I, I had a girl, let's say about 160, 165 centimeters and, and she, was, she was comfortable, you know? So it's not that horrible. Maybe I've over-exaggerated the thing because most of my friends are, let's say, the same shape as I am. So yeah, that makes it more difficult to fit more people. On the full tank, I think you can get around 800 kilometers, which is more than decent on a petrol car uh, with a 2.5 liter engine. I mean, show me, show me something that uh, that average, that little, with uh, over 200 horsepower. You can see it's it's a fast car. I mean, it's not a fast car. It's just picks up speed naturally and smoothly and there's no drama you know there's just no drama and I kind of like it about this car it's easy to drive and it's accessible to anyone and it just sticks to the road and this is not a performance uh, Lexus it's not the RCF as I was saying but it's still it the balance is amazing 
and I find out that most Lexus have an amazing uh, balanced chassis and this one is, uh, is no different. It sticks to the road, puts the power down well even though it doesn't have that much power and uh, it's also fun. I mean, it can be fun. You don't have to, to go that fast to have fun in this car because you can take uh, left and right corners at great speeds and you're gonna stick to the road and the passenger are gonna feel it, they're gonna be moving a bit, but the seats are again very supportive and also very comfortable, which is nice, you know, because once again, most people are going to daily this car. I actually, I think all the people who are gonna buy this uh, hybrid Lexus are going to daily drive it. So comfort is a big, big issue in general. And with this kind of coupe, I feel more comfortable in this car than let's say in the, the competition, like a C-Class Mercedes. As far as comparison go, if you have the choice between the 200T and the hybrid, if you just want a daily RC, then just go for the hybrid because it's far more economical and it just makes more sense, at least to me. But if you want uh, a car that you can daily and also, you know, take on a, on, a, on a harsher drive during the weekend or something, and you can also, you know, easily modify and get some more power out of it, I would go for the 200T, that if you can afford the amazing, amazing RCF. And let's be honest, since it's an expensive car, not everyone's gonna be able to afford it. And I think the 200T is a baby RCF and the 300H is uh, it's just a great, great daily driver from Lexus. Yeah, what else? Uh, the CVT, it's, it's not as good as an 8-speed, obviously. I think by definition, if you choose to buy the hybrid, you're not gonna be that interested into uh, tens of a seconds and super fast zero to 100 so yeah the CVT does the job just fine and especially in town and uh, on the highway I, I think it's smoother and you don't hear the engine that much and it's a very relaxing ride I, I'm a guy for sports car I like the sound I like everything and I, I've criticized Lexus that in the lower models they don't really uh, put the proper exhaust in the car and sometimes it just it, you know it's heavy and so on but you know what if you buy this kind of car don't expect to, to be the fastest around the track just expect to have a, a, a very comfortable very good looking daily driver that's not gonna ruin you and uh, you know every drive is gonna be enjoyable We've hit traffic, so I can't really push it. Uh, but it, it, you, you can see it's, it sticks to the road and it's amazing that a car this heavy uh, it can, it can take turns that well without any, any body roll or anything. And it's just firm, but it's not overkill. It's not uncomfortable. That's, that's crazy. It's very comfy. And then when you take a harsh turn, it's, it's very firm. It doesn't move around. And I like that. I love that about Lexus. They found the perfect compromise between uh, comfortable and sporty. Let's say sporty. The sound the car makes is not good. That's really not good. I don't like it. And even the fake sound, it's it's a bit better, but you know, it's not it's not really pleasant. And to be honest, the 200T doesn't make any great sound either. So. If you're all about sound and you're having a tough time deciding, well, which one should I buy? Maybe the 200 is gonna make a nicer sound, it's gonna feel sportier and so on. It's gonna be a bit faster, but besides that, there's not much difference, you know. Maybe the way the gearbox responds, but you know, that's just it. So I've driven this Lexus RC 300H for about a week now, and I've had the same amount of time with the 200T, and out of the two, First time I said the 200T was was the um, the one to take because I, when I had driven the uh, RC Hybrid, I didn't spend that much time with it. But this time I spent basically a, a whole week and uh, and as a daily, my God, this is amazing. Just take this one.
that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this quick little vlog slash comparison between the 300H and the 200T I reviewed last time uh, bottom line both cars are you know the kind of cars I enjoy and the kind of cars I would daily uh, which one would I take I think it's a tough choice but so far I would, I would go for the hybrid in the end and you know why because I realized that if I would buy the 200T and I want a proper sports car, well, I wouldn't go to the 200T, I would go for something else. And then I would use the 300H as a daily, and I think I would be very happy with my choices. Now, some of you might disagree, and you know what? You have the chance to disagree with me in the comments anytime. You just have to click, write something, and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. In the meantime, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to show you as many cars as possible. So yeah, if you're subscribed, it's gonna be easier for you to see the videos and it's gonna be easier for me to, uh, well, convince the manufacturer to give me nicer cars. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.